questions. Coach, just thoughts on the game first half? Um, not good enough. I give Oklahoma State credit. I mean, they swung it really well. They pitched really well. They did, you know, sometimes you can be really great at two parts of your game. We, um, our bats were not timely. Our defense was great. Um, our pitchers gave up too much, too many hard hit balls. So, um, they're good and we knew it. We just, we've got to pitch more competitively. I think that's the word that we were talking about was just competitive, being more competitive swings, competitive pitches, um, athletic in that way. We gave ourselves a chance um, late in the game, but we were just kind of in a lull in the middle. And you can't, against a good team, you can't give up innings. You can't sit back and wait, you know, we just can't. And, there have been times when we used to be able to do that pretty easily, but we, we're not made that way this year. We're just not, you know, we, we can't take innings off. We've got to grind. We've got to grind. We've got to work better at passing the bat um, on that side, and we've got to make competitive pitches. If we keep trying to catch up, but we keep giving up a lead, then what does that help? So. We just talked a lot about being more competitive and and fearless, fearless. Patty, you talk about bats um, early on drawing a lot of walks, but they you said not coming up with those those timely hits. What did, what stood out to you about the approach there, based on what you wanted going in, and you know what how it played out? I the approach we were ready. I mean, it's just we're grounding out. Um, we're popping up, and everybody wants that timely hit, and unless you got them, definitely. Um, but we were just not scoring the ball off the way we needed to, and we give that credit to the pitching staff. But at the same time, we need to have more competitive bats. We need to swing early. We need to swing hard. We need to think of, I am not, Deny, I'm not going to get denied and pass it back to the next person on deck. And we had glimpses of that, but it's got to happen throughout the game. And we just we weren't doing that the way we, we know how. Penny, I know your, your, your pitching decision didn't work out for you the way you hoped to the maximum deal, but what were you thinking <coughs> when you decided to make that decision? And what were you hoping for? With Kelly? or Kelly to deal. Um, as I look at it a little bit differently. I am extremely proud of Kelly because it, um, it's a very tough situation. And even if you're playing at home, it's a tough situation for her. So I was proud of her competing. Um, but there's too many walks. There's hit batters. And then it's a three run bomb or whatever it is. So, um, I thought Kelly came out and was a little bit nervous and then she started to settle in a bit, but um, this is a day that she was knowing was coming. And if you've ever been in a position like that, your heart beats a little bit differently that day. Um, but I'm proud of her and I think she's gonna be better from it as well as KD and this team. We're gonna see who we are, what we're made of, um, the rest of this weekend. You finally got Katie on there. Yeah. She was, she was phenomenal. Just great. That is a competitive pitcher. Just give me the ball and let me go at him. And that's what it looked like. So what we did, and every, every time we are not successful in a game, or even when we are, we try to take what, what we need to learn from it. I think we got a lot of <coughs> lessons learned tonight. Now are we a team that can bring it out tomorrow? And that's not even us talking about outcomes. It's really talking about efforts and, and mindsets and grinding and not being denied and all of those words that go with offense. TR and Kenzie talking about the offense. Just what do you take away from a, a night like tonight and how much is it just you guys can be better or how much is it just Oklahoma State was pitching really well tonight? Yeah, um, I think they were. They pitched really well. Um, but at a certain point, we got to adjust. Um, we had a little spurts of it here and there, um, just not enough to execute. So I think just tomorrow you got to get
get a new game plan, adjust, and we're saying the right things, just not completely doing it. So tomorrow, just being all in and um, kind of having like a so what mentality and get after it and see what happens. Patty, back to Kirsten for Kirsten and Kelly. They've just looked different out of the pen than when they start games. What what's is there a mental ish like dynamic of you're prepared coming into it versus like how do you sift through that? I don't. I mean, KD has been our hottest pitcher as of late. So um, if I felt like she wasn't ready to come in, I wouldn't put her in. It's just um, she she had an off night. She left the ball on the plate too many times, and she'll tell you that herself. So. I don't know. I, she is too much of a competitor to come in and say, oh, I'm not ready. I mean, so again, these are lessons learned. When you come in from the bullpen, you better be ready to slam the door. I haven't seen Katie in a while. So when she came in, did she have her good stuff? And what you've seen from her all year, I mean, she looked really good to me. But. Right, absolutely. One thing about Katie is her spin, she's a very consistent pitcher. I think that. Her mentality this year, her composure has been very consistent, very um, locked in. So that was kind of my message to her is just to kind of bow up and be there. And I was going to give 100% and leave it all out there with her. And she was going to do the same. And that was our, our approach. Um, so I was really proud of her. You know, she came in. She was spinning that thing. There was no, um, really no excuses. Like Coach said, you know, they, they executed on good pitches, really. That's all you can really say. I think that um, the ones that we were trying to get in the chase on, they didn't. And then the ones that were over the plate, they got the barrel on it. So um, tip the tip the cap to cap. Sorry, excuse me. Tip the cap to them. But um, failure isn't real as long as you learn from it. So I think that going forward, you know, this isn't really a men. In, this isn't a mentality issue. Um, this is all about executing our game plan that we've been working <coughs> so hard on this week. And I'm really excited to come out tomorrow. We'll be just fine. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.